I say yo. Welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We took bad rap, basketball, and wrestling. Follow me on Instagram at hoops underscore raps underscore wrestling. Follow me on Twitter at hoops wrestling. I appreciate everybody that subscribed. We're in the road to 300. Let's get it. The topic of today is basketball. More importantly, the L.A. Clippers. You feel me? The Los Angeles Clippers. Let's talk about it. You feel me? If you don't know, the Clippers have been... They just made one quiet move in the offseason. I don't even know if you could call it quiet. But they picked up John Wall. That's a fake big deal. It had been a way bigger deal three, four years ago with Kawhi, PG, and John Wall. But now it's still a big deal. I'm not going to lie. It's still a semi-big deal. Now, this is the Clippers' last chance to win. I'm not even going to hold you. This is literally their last chance to win. I've been a Clippers fan since Lob City with Chris Paul and Blake Griffin in them. You feel me? That team was very underwhelming. They underachieved. Let's just keep it a stack. They underachieved. In every sense of the way, they underachieved. Then I was a fan of the... The bad boy Clippers with Lou Will, Montrez, and Patrick Beverly. That team kind of, even though they didn't get out the first round, they overachieved. They had two players in the six-minute-a-year contender. They had Doc Rivers up there for coach of the year. And they took go two games from Golden State with a healthy Kevin Durant. They had Mad Heart on that team, one of my favorite teams. Then they pick up Kawhi and PG, and then they become superstar whores, and then they lose their toughness. Let's just be honest. Kawhi Leonard missed the whole last season. The whole last season. This is probably like, what, the second time in his 10-year career he's missed two seasons completely. A lot of niggas shit on Kyrie. Kyrie's never done that. Kyrie's never missed a whole season. This is like the second time Kawhi did that. PG played in what, like 44 games last year? 44, 42 games last year? That's not a lot. John Wall missed the whole season last year. No injuries or nothing. Just because Houston didn't want him to get injured. Like, he didn't get injured and they didn't want him to get injured, so they didn't play him. So he's playing, coming off a whole year on the bench. You feel me? And not only that, these niggas is not in their prime no more because of so much injuries. Kawhi Leonard is an old 30. Let's be honest. Paul George is an old 32. He's 32, but he play like he's 34 already. Reggie Jackson, an old 32. Marcus Morris, a old 32, you feel me? John Wall, a old, old 31. John Wall is only 31, bro. He's missed like three years of basketball, and he's only 31. So this is definitely their last chance to be a real, real contender, you feel me? Not even just about being better than the Lakers. Because whenever they better than the Lakers, niggas want to throw a parade. Oh, da, da, da. It's like, bro, it's not enough. When they make it to the conference finals, oh, parade, no, no, no. No, it's not enough. They need to go to the finals, at least. If they can't win the finals this year, they need to at least be there, respectfully. Why they can't beat Golden State? Golden State got Steph, Clay, and Draymond. Y'all got John Wall, PG, and Kawhi. Why y'all can't beat them? Why y'all can't beat the Lakers if they get Kyrie or not? Why y'all can't beat them? Why y'all can't beat Luka? Y'all been beating Luka the last two years. You feel me? So this is definitely their last chance, bro. Their last, last chance. Even if they can't win the championship, the Clippers must go to the finals this year. And Tyron Lue. Let's talk about you for a minute. You hear me? You're this great coach, right? You're this great coach. You've won a ring with LeBron and Kyrie. Let's be honest. That's like anybody can do that, bro. You won a ring with LeBron and Kyrie. That's not coach of the year shit to me. Everybody think you're this great coach, right? Let's see how you manage Kawhi being a superstar, Paul George being a follower, John Wall being a fucking clout chaser. Like, let's be honest. You got a bunch of egos to deal with now. Gangster. Tyloo got a bunch of egos. Kawhi Leonard has an ego. Paul George is just a follower. Let's be honest. John Wall thinks he's better than he really is. Gangster. He thinks he's up there with the Kyries and Stephs and Westbrook. John Wall, you missed that. You missed that bus already, kid. Respectfully. This is the Clippers' last chance, in my opinion. Like, comment, share, subscribe, turn the bell for notifications. On the road to 300. There we go. 
I'll be back with more.